Hey everyone, it's Erin Flutter here and I am here giving you another Acrylograph video. This time I am doing a tips and tricks video. A lot of people have messaged me and said that they're not uh, used to paint pens and they were requesting me to do a tips and tricks video. So I'm very excited to bring this video to you today. And this video is sponsored by Archer and Olive because they provided me with these pens. So thank you to Archer and Olive for giving me an opportunity to uh, do a tips and tricks video for you today. So I'm gonna be talking about different things when it comes to paint pens that um, maybe some beginners may not know and uh, how to troubleshoot some issues that you may have if you are a beginner. So my first tip is not to activate all your pens at once. Of course, this is what I did because when I was doing my video for you, I wanted to swatch out every pen that they had available because of course, if I am showing you and reviewing these uh, pens, then I'm going to have to show you all of the colors. But if you don't have to activate your pens, don't. <laughs> you know, if you are only using certain colors in a month don't activate all of your pens you know this is a lot of pens to activate first of all it's a time consuming process second of all you could um, swatch everything out and then dry up your tip so if you don't have to then just don't activate them until you are ready to use them If you did activate them all at once, a really good tip is to clean the nib. So all of these nibs are removable from the paint pen. And as you can see, this one's pretty liquidy. But if you do find that they are very dry because you haven't used them in a while, all you have to do is wash them with some water and Dawn dish soap, any sort of grease um, fighting soap to dissolve it and so you wash it with water and soap. When you are washing them do not place this going down. <laughs> you want to store it upright until you place the nib in again. If you find that your color is not coming out very opaque then that means you need to shake more. So if it's watery and pretty transparent. For example, some of these lighter colors, I did not shake enough, obviously. So if your tip seems watery or transparent, all you have to do is continue to shake and shake and shake and shake and shake some more. <laughs> so in the opening part of the video, this was a little bit more transparent than I would have wanted. So I shook, 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 and then place down some more color and it came out much more opaque after shaking. So the reason that happens is because the paint inside needs to get broken up and remixed from the ball that is in the barrel to mix up that paint. So that's why you hear that sound when you shake is a ball is inside and it will come out a lot more freely. If there are globs of paint, clean the nibs and don't over pump. So you can see that there is paint coming from around here. That's because I put too much pressure and I over pumped. And by pumping, I mean depressing the tip of the pen. When I depress the, dip, the tip of the pen too much and I over pump, it's going to come out from the sides instead of the tip. So make sure you clean it out and then it will not do that anymore. So after clean, oops, <laughs> after cleaning the outside, you can see that now it's flowing and my hands are still wet <laughs> from doing this. Um, I cleaned out the entire nib. I put it back in, I shook it up. I didn't over pump again. And so I can get a nice line in here coming from the nib and 
it's not pooling around the top of the barrel. Okay, so this is really important when it comes to the 0.7 tips. If you work against the tip and how it's meant to be used, you'll have splatter. You can see that that happened up here a couple of times. So what you need to do is it shouldn't be extremely scratchy. I know that sounds weird considering it's a plastic nib, but once you find the sweet spot in the nib, it won't be as scratchy. So you also don't wanna use it up and down. That's not how the ink is flowing out. You want to use it in between two bristles. So if I try to use it on the bristle, it gets a lot more scratchy. So you want to use it in between the bristles and you'll see that it flows a lot easier and it's less scratchy when you do that. The next tip I have is to paint in sections and not to paint with a nib pushed in. So if you are working with a three millimeter, for example, you're not going to want to paint with the whole tip depressed. You want to do a pump and then paint in long sections to prevent streaking. So I'm doing one pump, a nice long pump, and then painting a nice long streak. And see what I'm talking about this being a little bit more transparent. So that means I didn't shake it enough. So once I shake it some more, you can see that I'm getting much more transparent ink coming out of it. So this is kind of one that's maybe not necessary, but I find it helps my pens is if you store horizontally, because if you store vertically like this, then the rest of the paint that's there goes towards the bottom and it just is kind of a longer process to get everything going again. So store horizontally and when you go like this and shake it horizontally, then I find that that works the best. Number eight is not to overwork the paper. If you're going to work with paint pens, what I find works best is working with long strokes instead of going back and forth like this. Doing strokes down typically ends up working the best because that, if you are worried about putting a lot of layers on and overworking the paper, doing the single stroke is much better for the paper than going back and forth over the same. If you're only doing one layer, that may not be a big deal. If you're working in an arch or an olive notebook, the paper holds up really well. In some of the lower weighted or uncoated types of paper, you may uh, cause pilling of the paper if you are overworking that. So if you are also working with strokes or if you are only doing a single layer, single layer then it doesn't take much pressure to get paint out of the pen. Like I said, you don't have to depress the tip in order to make the pen work. If I can show you, let's see if this works. You can get a lot without putting a lot of pressure on your paper. And again, you can see it's starting to become transparent. Shaking it even more will help with that. Number nine is using the right size nib for the, your project. 
If I am painting a long streak like this, I am not going to use a 0.7. That is mainly to use fine liners or doing details when you are doing drawings. So if I want to use this 0.7, I'm not going to, and I have not used this in a while, so I am going to have to shake and pump. I am not going to do a 0.7 for a large span of project when I could be using a three millimeter. Do you see what I'm saying? It takes longer. Use the right nib for the right project. This can mostly be for doing detail work, for doing um, some mono, some beautiful mono line little headers. If I want to put to do, if I'm writing my to do list, if I want a large header that says hello. I'm probably not going to do that with a 0.7 millimeter. And my last tips and trick for using paint pens is to write slower. Allow the paint to come out of the nib, particularly in these 0.7s where they are flowing a lot more than they are with the three millimeters, with the three millimeters, it is getting the entire nib saturated enough to allow the paint to flow. But for a seven millimeter, write slower, and that allows for the paint to flow a lot more freely. Even with a three millimeter, it really does help. So you can see in the three millimeter, it's not gonna make a lot of difference, but I do find it helps to write a little bit slower than when to allow the paint to get just a little bit more of a consistent flow. So I hope these tips and tricks are helpful for you. If you have any other questions, please leave them in the comments below. I am super happy to address any more questions that you may have. Um, I really appreciate uh, people asking me for tips and tricks regarding paint pens because they it's not widely used in bullet journaling. So I know that this may be a new medium for a lot of you. So by the way, these tips and tricks don't just go for acrylograph pens. These can go for any type of paint pen marker. So if you are using Posca, if you are using uh, Molotow, if you are using any other sort of paint pen, these tips and tricks can work for you as well. So I hope they're helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, all that kind of jazz, and I will see you next time. Bye everyone.